Well, here we are. I've been all down on my paddock um, for this uh, short hunt, just a few hours. Um, it's pretty cold. That Siberian wind is picking up from the east. It's behind me. Uh, and I've worked my way round. And as you can see, I'm kind of just you know, where I started. But I never start where I park up. Um, I should do, because I've just found something really nice here. My first piece of silver for the day. Now, look at that. That's just just by my car I've just literally worked my way back up um, uh, just on this short hunt and uh, a really scratchy signal it was in the 80s but it was really weak um, but uh, you know it must have been sitting on edge there it is a lovely little shield pendant by the looks of it there's a hole there for the chain I'm sure um, and uh, there's hall marks on the back I can see them um, so let's give it a little clean up and uh, see what we've got well, it's cleaned up nicely. Look at that. What a beautiful little thing. It's all complete. Beautiful detail around here. Um, it looks sort of early Victorian. And so if we turn it over, we'll see we have down here. I've just had a look through my eyeglass. And we've got the anchor for Birmingham. We've got the Lion Passant, which is uh, telling us it's uh, sterling silver, 925 parts to 1,000. Um, it's got a letter D. Well, it's Sunday afternoon, and uh, after yesterday's lovely little silver um, fob medal, uh, which is fantastic, um, I'm back out here, and God, it's blowing the gale, but, you know, it's sunny and beautiful. And uh, I've been going about an hour. I've got a nice little blank disc. I have that tested tomorrow to see that silver. It was so, I thought, hammered. Second hammer of the year, but no. Uh, got a musket shot, but I've just found something in here. It's curved. It's green. Oh, let's see. Okay, so the big reveal. Uh, what have we got? It's must be a bit of furniture fitting or something, but you never know. There she is. A little wiggle. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We all know what that is, don't we? Yeah, that's part of the spur. That's the back part of the spur. Roll would have gone in there, would have been a wheel, that's what picked a horse. Back end of a spur. Not complete, sadly, would have come round here to have some uh, little two holes or three holes drilled where the straps would have gone round the boot. But uh, yeah, that's not bad. Well, it's a beautiful afternoon. It may be cold, uh, but it's just, just lovely. The sun is not a cloud in the sky. And I'm just out here in the pasture, just, oh, digging up lots of 303 shells. Apparently, First World War, that's when there's lots of activity over here. On the fields, it's shotgun caps. Here, it's 303s. But there's a lovely little steel yard weight, possibly medieval. Nice sort of egg-shaped one. Found a similar one over paddocks over yonder there uh, last week or the week before. It's got a hole in the top there where the iron steel suspension loop would have gone. Not bad. Well, it's been a week. Last Sunday, the wind was starting to come and we felt uh, Siberia was on its way. Um, and today, Sunday on, oh, it's beautiful. It's nice and calm and I'm out on the pasture and uh, I just found my first nice thing of the day. It's a lovely little medieval, post-medieval token. And there it is. And you can see it's got this sort of um, grid checkered like that and that represents i think um a harrowing token so somebody literally just did harrowing was paid with these because the harrow had a similar sort of uh, wooden uh framework with big spikes sticking out the bottom which uh you know broke up the soil now here's something you don't see every day um just um just in this garden here uh the previous owners i know this is a fact bought this victorian staircase there was a sort of a pulpit staircase and they've attached it to the tree sadly it's all sort of breaking down now uh, that's really sad but what a fine day look and then over here there it is there's the pulpit i think it sat up there up to a few years ago there you are now i just wanted to mention one thing before we get on to the main find of the hunt um i've got back home obviously cleaned everything up and one thing i did find today which is just a plain button uh, covered in mud, didn't think much of it until I got home, cleaned it up, and uh, well, it's quite obvious, isn't it? There it is, it's exactly the same. It's that one, it's got a central dot and it's got a faint ring circle around that dot. Uh, 17th century, lovely little button, and 
this obviously another great book that I'd recommend, Buttons and Fasteners by Gordon Bailey. So let's get back to the fields. Well, it's just past 2.30 and uh, it's been drizzling for a little while and I've been wandering around and it's been 303 shell after another uh, with, a, with a bicycle bell just found. Um, hurrah, but, but, and it, just, it happens every time. You're not thinking, every time you think, oh, I wonder if it's something nice, it never is. And I was just, duh, 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 and six, seven inches down, a solid 75, 78 in here. <laughs> I hope it is. And it's, if it is complete, it's looking like it could be an Elizabeth half groat, no, sl slightly earlier, oh, I don't know. Let's um, unveil it together, because I've got a new Gorilla Pod uh, with magnetic feet, which won't help at all today. There's no fridges around to stick it on, but uh, <laughs> here we go. Let's unveil it together. Okay, here we go. What have we got? You can see the edge there. That's just looking great. I can see, I think, a tiny bit of legend on there. Oh, and there's another edge there. I'm going to take this really easy. I'm going to milk this one. <laughs> Off you come. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's a beauty. Well, it's complete. But I can't get... Oh, that mud is stuck on there really tight. It's coming off... If the reverse is anything like the reverse, as far as the quality of it, the condition, there should be a monarch's head on here. And this has been scrubbed out. So many of them are done on purpose. Just soak it in a little bit of water there, so we can soften that soil up, give it a bit of a shake. Onto my rag. Gently does it. Clean out a little bit more. It's in lovely condition, it really is. Look at that. And there you are. Just about six weeks ago, I found my first hammered and uh, it was bent and it was awful. And, uh, but I knew it was Mary. I saw the um, MAR on the side. I've now got what looks like Mary Sixpence. Look at that profile. I said, oh, I would love to get a Mary because it's so attractive. She was a looker. Oh, I'm so happy. Fantastic. Well, <laughs> you know the feeling if you've had a hammer. Um, it's Queen Mary, and uh, I believe that's a groat. Um, Bloody Mary, wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so happy. So anyway, uh, I think that's, um, well, I may carry on for a little bit, but um, I don't know I'm gonna be able to top that. Uh, so um, I may just say, um, thanks for watching. See you again.